So Jen, you're going to show us how to make the smoky Paloma. Yes. Smoky Paloma. And so Jen, smoky as you're making this drink, I've just been wondering, what's the difference between tequila and mezcal? Yeah, that's a great question because it both of them are agave based spirits. Um, mm -hmm. Except tequila can be made has to be made from a hundred percent blue agave, and then it's fermented and distilled. Where mezcal can be made from a few different types of agave, um, and then they take the agave pinas and they roast them underground so they get really smoky. That's a um, flavor. And then, yeah, and then they ferment it and then they distill it. So it's mostly the process and the fact that they have like a little more wiggle room with the types of agave that they can use. Cool. All right. Yeah. Let's see how you make it. Yeah, so this is a Peloton de la Morta that we're using. This is their Espadine. Espadine's um, a varietal that's pretty common in most um, mezcals. Um, it's really great for mixing cocktails with because it's not too aggressively smoky. Mm -hmm. I always say like this one's like perfect for like intro to mezcal spirits. Um, see. Then we got the St. Elder here. They make some really beautiful liqueurs and this uh, grapefruit, the temple mousse, is mm -hmm. just really lovely. Yeah, it's well, easy too, to mix up with just, just about anything. Yeah, yeah, it's great, great, especially like if you don't have fresh citrus juice, like because the flavors are natural. So like, you know, you can throw together a really nice cocktail just by using a liqueur and a few other things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really like that stuff. Um, we're using, but we do have fresh grapefruit juice here, so I'm going to be using two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice. Nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to add some ice. Okay. And Jen, do you know what Peloton de, de la Muerte stands for? What does that mean? <laughs> Something about death. <laughs> I think it's squadron of what, death I saw. Yeah. Not like the bike Peloton, but squadron yeah. of death, right? <laughs> but the mezcal is really nice and it won't kill you. It's just, you know, yeah, I like it. Not, and I'm the smoky, the smokiness is just like a light hint. It's not, overpowered. it's just the perfect amount. Yeah. So I'm going to shake this. Shake it up. Yeah. We got a Collins glass. It was funny. My coworkers and I were using, um, compostable disposables right now for all of our drinks. So like to make a, a drink in glass for us is like, whoa, <laughs> no, <laughs> pretty crazy. Um, then you're just gonna top this with a little bit of soda water. Okay. About two ounces is like a good amount. Okay. I like to pour the soda water into the drink before I strain it over ice. Cause I find that the bubbles get incorporated better. So that way you don't have like a bunch of bubbles sitting on top of the drink and not throughout the drink. Good to know. I, then I just strain this over ice. And then you can do fresh grapefruit wheel. I'm doing a fresh lime wheel here because I like the added acidity. That's nice. Um, but that is the Paloma. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Um, all right, cool. Now, Jen, you have a cool twist um, working with our next cocktail, which I yeah. totally do not know how to pronounce. So you <laughs> actually say it pretty well. So I'm going to let yes. you take it over. Cool. And now I'm going to mess it up because you built okay. me up like that. <laughs> I have it written on the bottle here. So it's a uh, Cascara di Naharnia. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, orange peel. Cool. So how do you make this? I know you were you mentioned the cordial is a very, very big part of it, right? That you make house made? Yeah. So one of the things that we love to do here at the Eddie is make all of our own syrups. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that when we're trying to make a syrup, we're trying to extract as much flavor as possible. And mm -hmm. one of our favorite syrups that we like to make is cordials. And cordials are, they sound really complicated, but they're actually pretty easy to make. And I actually personally love to make them at home. Mm -hmm. um, I have a three-year-old and he loves like, you know, popsicles and he loves lemonade. So I like to make cordials at home for him. And it's just so an easy way to make a really, right? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 You can add, you can add alcohol to it to simply yep. for preservation purposes, but mm -hmm. you can make it without alcohol. So it's just right. a really concentrated syrup. Um, I gave you a little sample of yeah, the sugar okay. before. Mm -hmm. So like one of the main things when you're making a cordial is you're trying to infuse the sugar. So you can see here, 
That's yeah. an orange ginger infused sugar and it just smells really incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have mine over here too. Let me smell it. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Nice. So we make this by zesting um, the fruit that we're using. Um, so we used orange in this. Um, the reason why we're using orange too, the flavors that we're using is because I'm using uh, the Peloton de la Morta Pachuca. Now oh. Pachugas are typically made, um, they're distilled with um, chicken breast in the still. That's where it gets its name oh. Pachuga from because Pachuga oh. means chicken breast. Um, but this Pachuga is a little different. It's actually vegan because they're making it with um, a bunch of different botanicals. So it's almost like, think about like a gin, like they have like the gin basket that has all the botanicals in the still and that's how you're extracting flavor. So they're doing that with this, but they're doing it with orange, they're doing it with mint and they're doing it with ginger. So it has this like really beautiful, um, these really beautiful floral characteristics that you don't normally find in a pachuga. Mm -hmm. um, so For a normal pachuga, can you taste the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but it is funky. It is definitely funky. Yeah. Um, those Position, are actually like right? usually like in the mezcal price range. They're usually on the higher end, um, and they're usually like over like for mezcal fans. They definitely like it's a highly sought out product. Yeah. Um, Very traditional. Yeah. Something handed yes. down to generations, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, I. Um, I want to like capture those flavors. So I made an orange ginger sugar um, that I simply add orange juice to. Mm -hmm. So I'll add like a bunch of, I'll add equal parts orange juice to that orange ginger sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is really simple too, because it's a syrup that you don't really have to heat up. Um, as long as you're like leaving the zest in the sugar sit for a while so it can get like, it can macerate and kind of just start to dissolve. Like you can literally <laughs> like, Cooktop, right? This. But, like, you, yeah. yeah, you can just like shake it, um, okay. and then all of a sudden you have a cordial. Um, you can add vodka to it or like some sort of high proof spirit and um, then preserve it for longer. So that's what I'm going to be using. It's simple, simple, super simple. So I'll use an ounce and a half of the Peloton Pachuga. And that is and the, oh, that's what we, that's the vegan one. So Yes, yes, there's no chicken, even Not though it says pachuga. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to be using um, three quarters of an ounce of orange juice. Mm -hmm. um, if you're making this at home, I suggest add it, supplementing like a quarter ounce of lemon juice, just because um, sometimes orange juice runs a little sweet, so you want the acidity in there to help balance it out. Mm -hmm. Here at the Eddie, we acidulate our orange juice, so we add citric and malic acid. Malic acid is the same acid that you'll find in green apples. So we add that to it to make sure the acidity is at the right level. So it's just not like a sweet juice that's in there. Cause you're also gonna be adding the cordial, which is sweet. That's so sweet. yeah. So if you don't have like the right amount of acidity then you'll have an mm -hmm. properly balanced cocktail. Yeah, we're just gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the cordial and then add our ice and shake it. So it's really simple. Like once you've made the cordial, um, you know, you can make a cocktail pretty easily with just three ingredients. Yeah. Which I love. Can ask if we can post the recipe for your cordial too. So hopefully. Yeah, we I sent Vanessa the recipe for okay. it. So she's more than welcome to do that. I'll make sure this doesn't go to waste. Trust me. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> shake it up. So you usually shake it up for like a couple seconds. Yeah, it's usually a good like 30 second shake. Mm -hmm. um yeah just making sure like your ice is like super cold is important um so just use it straight out of the freezer i'm gonna mm -hmm. add a little splash of soda water because i like a little effervescence in it and then we're gonna strain it into our glass nice i saw a bunch of questions pop up here too yeah cool go for it cool so yeah, everyone's really excited to learn about the pachuga. Oh, cool. So, yep, we've got the address of the Eddie on there, too. I know you were selling this drink, which I picked up earlier. So I've Yeah, been... we have it online right now, so you can buy it to take home and Very drink good. at home. Very good. And, um... Yeah, so I'm putting, like, a healthy amount of mint, too, in here. 
Um, you yeah. can also shake it with the mint leaves in it to get like more of a mint flavor. Cause like I said, there's also mint in this pachuga. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but this is the cocktail. Cheers. I've already yes. sipped mine quite a bit, but it's Cheers. delicious. It's sweet, awesome. it's smoky. It's got a little bit of like that citrus sourness to it. So it's very properly balanced. I really enjoy it. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully people will uh, mix up these drinks at home before I pick up your cocktail too at the Eddy. And if they post their pictures on Instagram, they have a chance to win a really cool prize. So, oh, cool. Well, cool, Jen. Thank you so much. I hope everyone tuning in learned a lot about Mezcal and how it's different from tequila. And you guys will go to the Eddy and go check it out. Um, you can still order a cocktail even for tonight, obviously. Right, Jen? Yeah, yeah. We're here um, until 11 o'clock. So feel free to like jump on, um, go to our website. Um, you can order cocktails online. Thank you, Gina. Um, <laughs> and then you can also just come in and hang out with us tonight. We'll, we'll be the here. Patio. For Do you need yeah. to make reservations for the patio or can you just pop by? We, we prefer reservations. Um, it's on through Resi, um, okay. which is a really great um, website. They also have an app for it. A lot of restaurants are using it. Um, but if we have the space, we can definitely, um, you know, squeeze you in. We're just, you know, taking names and numbers for contact tracing like everyone else should. Yeah, that's good. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being here with us. And uh, I hope to see you over there soon and enjoy that patio. We will. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.